Welcome hoarders, today we're going to be playing some more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today uh, we are going to be going to my garage real quick. Um, a while ago I made a video on how to make, uh, and I don't remember exactly, I think it was Fast and Furious 5, I really don't remember, it's been a while since I watched um, all of them, I actually it was probably 6. Or six or seven because I did not watch eight yet. Um, I have to leave the garage to shut that off. Um, but we're going to be making Dom's uh, Charger Daytona. Um, it'd be nice if I could shut that off before I get my video completely shut off. Right now I have it kind of like uh, Burt Reynolds uh, Trans Am from Smoking the Bandit. Um, where am I going? Definitely not where I want to go. I'm um, going to head over to the garage. Um, a while ago, um, <laughs> I'm remaking this video because I mostly it's because I wasn't happy with the quality of the video. And a lot of people were watching it, the video. It's actually my most viewed video on my entire channel was uh, how to make Dom's Charger Daytona. And I'm, I'm going to leave it up. But if you go watch that, it it was terrible mic audio quality. It was just a bad video. I should have never even did it then. But I figured if a lot of people watch it, this would be a good video for a first impression. Which is why I don't want to have the other one up. Um, it's a terrible first impression for new, uh, new subscribers. Which uh, you should actually... Uh, consider subscribing. You don't have to, but you can consider it. <laughs> um, it's just that I feel like that would have deterred a lot of people from wanting to watch my channel. Okay, I already have armor breaks, all that stuff. All the performance stuff that's not visual, I'm not going to worry about at all. Um, Bumper, you want to do the extended chin spoiler. You can do the custom chin spoiler, but from the pictures I've seen, it didn't have that type of uh, lip by the front of the wheel. So I'm going to uh, just put the extended chin spoiler on. Uh, exhaust. Um, the exhaust on the actual car comes out right in front of the rear wheel. Um, so you technically can't get any side exhaust for it. Um, I'm going to put the titanium on because I think it looks pretty good with it. Uh, grill, you have to do the iron mask. Um, hood, keep stock, um, just in case anyone's knowing. Uh, bug catcher, uh, call that single, but they're both fucking bug catchers. Um, and the cal induction. Cal induction actually goes good with the Smokey and the Bandit one, but not the other one. Uh, horns, good, lights, I don't think I have them yet. Uh, plate, that doesn't really matter. Respray is a very, very important part. Um, you want to go metallic and cabernet red. Where is it? Da -da -da, cabernet red. It doesn't look right yet. Um, metallic, cabernet red. Right there. Um, it looks way off by itself. What you have to do is go to the uh, pearlescent, uh, primary pearlescent, um, I forget the name of the color, it's after, um, I think it was garnet, yeah, because that other stuff's way too bright, I'm pretty sure it was garnet red, um, because it's a little on the darker side, if you do cabernet, it's gonna just make it, like, the, uh, the what you call it, like the regular classic colors. So I'm going to do garnet red with the uh, secondary for it. And that's it as far as the color goes. When you go outside, it's going to look a bit darker, um, but also a bit shinier. You got to do the stock roof. You can't have the uh, glass T tops on it. You have to have the regular T tops. Um, no side skirts, but I'll show you it anyway. Um, if you're doing, 
I, I'm going to say this just because I remembered it. Um, the reason I use the Phoenix is because as far as getting it closest to the look that you're looking for, you need the high spoiler. It's an absolute must. And the problem is that if you have the, um, the Dukes, you can't get that spoiler. But the Dukes has... The body style, you just can't get that front, uh, the front bumper where it has the uh, pop-up headlights and all that. You can't get that, and you can't get the spoiler. Beautiful. On this car, you yeah, can get the spoiler, the and the front end looks more like it. Um, so that's why I use this. I had questions on the last video of why I would use this car instead of the Dukes. It's plain and simple. It's the closest that Grand Theft Auto has to offer as of right now. Um, all that other stuff's performance. Now, wheels. With wheels, I did originally have... Uh, what ones were they? Um, they were right there. I had the stanced EG. Um, however, I'm not doing stanced EG this time. Um, a viewer did say about another set of rims, I do believe, the, yeah, the Inferno. They suggested using the Inferno rims. Um, I do agree that they look a bit better, but the only problem that I see that annoys me are those little tiny bolts around the outside of the rim. But the tires and the actual picture are low profile. They're not as thick as the uh, the tuner tires that you get on here. Um, I should actually not have any color on this at all. Um, I wouldn't even think of that. Ooh, that looks good with black, but the rims in the thing aren't black. Um, you can get these in chrome if you want. Um, that's actually more accurate to get them in chrome, but I'm doing this in story mode to save myself a little bit of money online because I figure... Why not do it? But it's the Inferno rims under the sports category. Um, just make sure you do them chrome instead. Uh, tires, I'm going with no tire design because the reference pictures, they're just standard tires. Um, da -da -da, don't need tire smoke or anything like that. Uh, windows, I do light smoke on any movie replica cars um, in the game because... In real life, the cars, most of them, if not all of them, have tinted windows because it protects when there's stunts happening. You can't see the stunt driver's face as easily, so that's why they tint the windows in game, or, yeah, games and movies like that. Um, but that is about as close as you can get to uh, Dom's Charger Daytona. I really do. I think those rims fit it a bit better. It would just be nice if it didn't have those little dots on it. And the other thing is, these rims are concave, and the actual rims are convex. So they don't have that little divot in the middle. They're the ab actually the opposite way um, when you look at the reference pictures. So it, you do what you can do with what you have. Um, because obviously Sir Rockstar can't get sued. They have to make their own versions of real life vehicles. Um, but that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.